Hey everybody, Game Rare Reviews here. I am back again. Um, I'm sorry I hadn't uploaded anything in a while. It's just that I've been so busy a lot. Uh, the last thing I uploaded last week was uh, my Mies would like to play review of Nights. Um, I'm still continuing that series. It's just that I haven't really thought of a game to review yet. I mean, it's been a long process, and yeah, I'm still thinking of new content for my videos. So, and I know I haven't done a Let's Play of, ben of Bayonetta in a while. It's because I've been so busy a lot, so, again, I apologize for that. You will see one up tonight, though. Anyway, the reason why I'm doing this video is to talk about Nintendo's new console, uh, the Nintendo Switch. It's kind of funny, actually, since last year of, uh, 2015, it seems like they had a... They mentioned this console before, but they named it, uh, they co-named it NX. So, uh, yeah. And ever since they did, they, uh... Well, let's just say that a lot of rumors have been spreading about it, and some of them were true, some of them were false. I mean, especially when they leaked that image of what the actual NX controller was going to look like, and jeez, I am so glad after I saw it, they didn't go with that concept. Or the concept to that patent, of course. But anyway, when I saw that trailer yesterday of the new console, all I can say was color me impressed. I mean, it looks pretty imp pretty neat, to be honest. It, and it seems like it's a... Well, it's like what everybody predicted, that this was going to be a uh, a console handheld hybrid, which you can take on the go, and it, it, it's pretty cool. I mean, it has a, a controller base where you, where you can detach the, the two sides of the controller and put, it onto the, and put it onto the screen when you take it from the base. I mean, that is just, that is just really genius there, and... Man, I can tell you, it is an, it is, it's a really neat concept, and I like to see how far they could take it. I mean, and the best part is, is that third parties are really, there's a list of, uh, well, there is a list of third parties that are going to be on board with this. I mean, it's not a bunch. I mean, I don't really see any of the other big third party titles on there. Mostly I see is uh, Bethesda and... Take two games, but I haven't really seen Rockstar on it yet, or uh, any other big developers on it. I mean, there is 2K and uh, the developers of Skyrim, which I think was Bethesda, I guess. But other than that, it seems like Nintendo's really, yeah, Nintendo's really got themselves. Uh, it's really well. I wouldn't say that they picked themselves up yet. I mean, it's too early to judge from based on this trailer alone, but. It looks like an interesting concept, and I'm hoping whatever Nintendo has in store, it's really worthwhile. I mean, I know they got their strong first-party titles. I mean, I did see in the trailer that there was a Mario game, a, a 3D Mario game, mind you, that looks like it's... Well, when I first saw it, I couldn't really make it out what it could be. I mean, when I first saw it from the from the, from the the first cut, uh, like from the first cut of it, it, it looked, from far away, it looked like it was going to be a Mario 64-style uh, game, but then when I saw it up close... It, the way Mario was running and the way I saw how the level was structured, it looked like it was going to be something like a 3D Land and 3D World. But then when I saw the actual image from the uh, uh, the actual image of the first cut up close, it did seem like it had a Mario Galaxy vibe to it because that little green guy seemed like a little alien, and then there was a giant moon right there. And it seems like they're gonna m mix the gameplays together, with, mix it with Mario Galaxy, with Mario 64, Mario 3D Land. I mean. If they do it that way, that would be like a... Oh, heck, that would be a... Well, I don't know. That'd be the most epic thing ever. As long as Nintendo doesn't add any more cat suits. I've had enough of that. <laughs> anyway, what else they did show off on the gameplay trailer was uh, Elder Scrolls V Skyrim and uh, NBA 2 4K, which, of course, Nintendo kind of... Uh, well, Bethesda and 2K actually admitted that they weren't working on that right now. They were just using that footage just to show off, just to show off the, uh, I guess it was just to, just to show that Nintendo does have some third-party support, but, um, yeah. I hope they, I hope they really, they really keep their word on that, because last time they did this with the Wii U, because they did pull the same practice with the Wii U, and it didn't really end well, because a lot of third parties jumped ship as soon as the Wii U, well, as soon as the Wii U does, wasn't picking up any sales, and... Honestly, 
it really screwed Nintendo over. I mean, even did even their strong third parties didn't do didn't do that hot. I mean, on their console. I mean, I know Mario the two ones that did were Mario Kart and Smash Brothers, but even those two proved that the that it couldn't really move the system much as the PlayStation Four and the Xbox One. And honestly, that sucks. That truly does suck. And to Nintendo, I am really sorry about that. But I'm hoping to see that... Well, I'm actually hoping that this new console will be different from what the Wii U, from what the Wii U was. And hopefully that this will actually pick up the pace in sales. Because basically what this is doing is really combining what makes Nintendo sell the most. And that's the handhelds. And pretty much they're also mixing in with the console, so it seems like you do have like uh, the best of both worlds, where you can play the game on the go, or like if you want, you're sitting at home, you could play it like uh, you play it at home. You know, it, it seems like a like a genius idea. So like in case you're like going on a big trip and you want to still continue your game, you could just take it out with you, and then you and then you could just take it in the car with you and. Uh, and just play it on the go. I mean, that seems like a very ingenious idea. And this could... I'm not sure if this could be like the end-all be-all to handheld and console gaming. Well, to handheld gaming, mind you. Because it seems like console games will still be around. But I'm not sure about handhelds. Because with this system, it's really, it's really pushing towards that handheld side too. As well as the console side. Because, again, you have two... Of these little control uh, buttons and uh, joysticks that detach from the controller base. What's also pretty cool that they showed off is that they also have another controller of its own, which again was re is really cool. I mean, I didn't really get a chance to see it up close until I saw this image right here. It looks really neat, and I do like that D-pad style design. It looks like they're going a little different from what they did with the Wii's uh, D-pad style design. And the joysticks look a little more. Uh, they seem to look a little more comfortable. I'm not sure about it yet. I, it's not really in my hands, so I can't really tell right now. I can't really, unless I actually feel the controller myself. It still has the same four face buttons, the A button, B button, Y button, X button. And it looks like it's going to have a... Uh, well, I can't really make it out in this image because it's, uh, it's not really a clear image, but it does look like a, like a pretty good controller. It looks kind of small, though, but... I don't know. We'll just have to see. Now, the uh, actual base controller itself, it's it's quite impressive, to be honest. I mean, you like I said before, you can detach the two pieces of it and put it onto the NX. Best part is, um, you could actually you could actually like like play it wire. You could actually play it wireless from from the screen too. And best best part is, like, it's convenient for two players too. So like, you have one person holding the one side of the controller and the other person holding the other side of the controller. And you guys can play it like that way, but the button, but the the four but the four buttons on each side are like different from each other because like um, with the with the right side it has the uh, the control stick on the bottom, and on the left side it has the control stick on the top, which is similar to the Xbox 360's design or the Xbox design. But in a way, it also has like um, because the top part also does have buttons too, but. Those those kind of those four buttons right there actually kind of remind me of the uh, C button, the four C buttons from the uh, N64 days. And honestly, that kind of, I mean, it was actually quite a surprise that they went with a design like that. And it seems like those four buttons will act like the uh, the four face buttons for the left side of the controller, while the right side of the controller it actually does have the four face buttons. But my question is, where are the shoulder buttons? I mean. That's the one thing that really questions is that is there going to be shoulder buttons of these things or is this are these just detachable controls without them because usually this would be like one of the first Nintendo consoles in a long time since the NES that a controller doesn't have any shoulder buttons. But then again, I could I'm not really sure. I mean I did see these little uh, these little buttons on the on the side of each controller too, so I'm wondering what their functionalities are too. That's what got me really curious about it. But then again, we'll we'll find out because Nintendo said they will uh, announce further details on this in a uh, 2017. So we got a while to wait.
but what's really impressive too is that this is actually appealing to more of the uh, young adult gamers because Nintendo actually realized that these guys matter too. It's not just kids who game, but also adults game too. So again, good on you Nintendo. You guys are really learning from this. I'm hoping to see what, how far you guys are going to take this concept because... This is this seems like a, like a, like a good thing. I mean, it could be the best thing ever since the Dreamcast, of course. And I mean, the Dreamcast was really the best system ever. And this here it seems like a pretty good system too. You can take it on the go. You can or you can play it at home. That is a wonderful uh, idea. And this was one of the best ideas Nintendo has. I know people. Some people were expecting Nintendo to go the way of Sony and Microsoft, but. <clears throat> Again, this is the way Nintendo does things, and I mean, sometimes the way Nintendo does things either works or it doesn't, you know? I mean, there was a time where they had their GameCube days, and then there's their times where they had their Wii days. And pretty much the Wii U was their GameCube days, so it seems like with the Nintendo Switch, this will be their, definitely their Wii days. And I'm so glad they're not going the way of the Wii again. They're actually moving up from it, just like the current president, Kashima, said. They're really dropping the Wii name and just moving on with something else. And you know what? That's pretty good. It, that is really good. Now, as far as games go by, the only things I really want to see from Nintendo is just that they make the best games that they can make. But also, I want to see some pretty good third-party games too, because last time I bought a Nintendo console, boy, did I miss out on a lot of great titles that were on the HD consoles. Heck, I missed out on a lot. But, hopefully that won't be the case again, because, like I said, I mean, the Wii had, did have a lot of, of fun games too, but most of it was just shovelware. And, I mean, I'm not disappointed by that fact, because I know a lot of people with the Wii, it was just a... Uh, it was just a fad, and basically, this these would just be consoles that everyone and their mother would play, you know? Or just something for old or old people, you know, like for senior citizens. You know, get them in the, in, the, in the mix. But with the Switch, no, this is something different. The Switch, they're really actually trying to appeal to the hardcore and young adult gamers. So, again, Nintendo, I have to say congratulations on that, but... Like I said, the I really want you guys to make some some great great title games. I mean, the only thing I really expect from you guys is more first is more good different first party titles. I mean, sure we can have our Mar you can have your Mario's and your Zelda's and your Pokemon. That's fine, but I actually do want to see some more of your franchises revived. Like I want to see another Wave Race. I want to see another F Zero. And if you can. Probably get a different developer to work on the Donkey Kong series because, to be honest, I mean, and I hate to sound like like a, uh, I hate to sound like a hater, but I am not a big fan of the new Donkey Kong Country games. I did not like Returns, and I certainly did not like Tropical Freeze. So, if you can make a game that's much better than these two, or at least something a little different, to where I actually can play as Diddy Kong and the other Kongs, and not be screwed over by it, yeah, by uh. Any gimmicks like the rocket barrels or anything like that. That would be great. That's the only thing I want. Other than that, I really don't ask too much for you, Nintendo. Uh, but what I'd really do want from you guys is to... uh, Well, not want, but... I'm begging you guys. And this isn't really too much to ask, but... Please, Nintendo. Don't screw this up. You guys have great potential. I mean, right now, you guys are already sitting on thin ice with the Wii U, so... Please, do what you can, and make this count. Because if you don't, I don't know what's going to happen. I mean, it's bad enough we lost Sega in the console race. We don't want to lose you, too. Okay? Anyway, this is Gamer Man Reviews. Uh, I thank you all for listening to this. Um, I'm sorry uh, if I sound a little nervous, if I'm repeating everything I say. It's just... These uh, these chats are kind of difficult for me to do, but I'll get better. I'll improve better. Anyway, this is Game Review saying I will uh, see you all next game.
Have a good day.